Trish. Welcome to Static Realms Music Hour. The 80s, nostalgia, synth wave. But what happens when you get someone from another world? The world of metal! <clears throat> anyway, this artist started out with a history in the metal scene. And now she's making her way into the synthwave world. Hi, I'm Constanza, and I just released a new demo. And by new, I mean my first demo ever. <laughs> so I am a newer artist in the synth pop world, but don't get me wrong, I've been making music for a long, long time, but always in the heavy metal, thrash metal scene. I do have a lot of experience in the, in the music industry, but not in this kind of music. Synth pop was like my guilty pleasure, especially like Irado Disco, all fun, danceable stuff, early electronic stuff. Just fun, I just, they just cheer me up, it's just happy. So the lockdown came and then the pandemic started and I got laid off. I just decided to buy a synthesizer with my last paycheck, I just got one and I started to make my music. So like a week, I made my first song and that song was locked in. Really cool song, really catchy and it kind of kind of, people was into it and I kind of thought, yeah, I gotta go this way. So I did that and I kept doing stuff, you know, keep doing music, keep doing melodies and I enjoy singing so much so yeah other producers asked me to make some collaborations I did some collaborations with other people and that's awesome I met so many amazing people in short time and I can see how the scene is so small yet is growing and I'm very glad to be part of it right now so this song between stars was my second song ever and uh, it's kind of really special. I was really in the zone when I made this song. It was like fully creative. It, I just did. I did it in a, in a shot. I sit down. I did the whole song in one night, and then the lyrics next night. And it was really cool. And I talk about a dream. Talk about like just just when you want to be with somebody and you hands because you're like just really far and you kind of dream you could you know be with that person or whatever and also make a little like mention to like astral projection and like lucid dreaming I, I'm a true believer of <laughs> all cosmic things and that really really um, inspired me and I wanted to just portray that and that's when my dear friend Scott came into the picture which basically is a photographer I worked with for a long time but he is also a videographer and we talked for a while of, like, of making something and this was like the perfect time I explained him what I wanted to do he absolutely got you know he realized what I wanted to do and he just straight up we, we, we started working and we did a, a storyline and we sketched everything we make new drawings it was really really cool you know experience because we took our time to do something fun and nice well done we didn't have resources at all really <laughs> we didn't spend much money oh wait i did buy a fun machine but that's it and then we asked a friend of us to help us doing this the way that uh, it's very intriguing, you know, very androgynous and very, you know, just something mystic, mysterious. And yeah, that's what it is. It was very cool to work with him. He was just like... And I'm very proud of what we did together. So now I want to show it to you. 
and I hope you like it. So here we go with Between Stars. Bye. <laughs>
good old days, playing video games, taking strolls around the neighborhood, and that was enough. This next artist, Geovac, really takes us back. Hey everyone, this is Geovac here. That's G-O-V-O-C. Geo meaning world and Vox short for vocabulary or language, which is music. And uh, you're about to watch the music video for my track, Those Days, which came out this past February. Yeah, I'm excited to share it with you. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I try to pay attention to uh, a lot of nostalgic details and, you know, everything encompassing Synthwave and that whole community. The music video was filmed in Maryland and in North Carolina. Um, the shots in Maryland are the movie theater and the sort of dark studio type shots. And then um, everything by the water um, was filmed in North Carolina. So thanks again. Um, my name is Geovac and uh, I hope you enjoy my track those days. I am here with a heavy rocking band from South Africa called Terminatrix. Hello, and welcome to the show. Hey, Electrish. Hi. I'm Paul. Sonia. Sonia. Uh, trust you do well in this weird and crazy time we're finding ourselves in. Yes. Strange indeed. <laughs> <laughs> now, I am familiar with what a dominatrix is, but can you tell me what is a terminatrix? 
Okay, the name Terminatrix, we wanted to create a name that um, creates more of an image. So we wanted something that would portray darkness, a little bit of sex appeal or sexiness, and also um, a sense of danger. And we felt like the name Terminatrix, especially with the sort of feeling of a dominatrix and a terminator, um, sort of captured that whole vibe. And sort of a powerful female uh, vocalist uh, that conjures up interesting images. And it's a, we wanted a unique name that didn't exist, but unfortunately for us, um, a year later, <laughs> all these terminatrixes jumped yes. up everywhere. From the, in the, the movie. Terminator 3, the female Terminator, they mentioned, called it the Terminatrix. Yes. Um, we found a, I think it's a fetish club in Germany or somewhere in Europe. Um, some manga. It's all cool references, uh, especially but, the Terminator, the Terminator re reference. But, yeah, um, but unfortunately now we didn't want this to clash with what we're doing, so we decided let's just change the I towards the end, make it a YX instead of an IX. Still sounds the same and it made it even more unique. Yes. And I guess in some ways our music can be a pleasurable torture for some people. <laughs> Yes, definitely. <laughs> now, after 18 plus years of being in a band together, you must have so many memories and so many stories. So, I'm curious, what was your most memorable experience together as a band? 18 years. It's a, sure. it's a long time. But, um, yeah, we we enjoy doing it. And Sonia and I, we've been together for yes. 20 years. Yes. So 18 years of our being together for 20 years, it's, it's quite a long time. And we, we love doing stuff together. So there's been countless fun things across this time period. Yeah, they are definitely highlights. I mean, it, in, in a sense, it's been a very nice journey. We have made a tremendous amount of friends and um, people that still we still collaborate with. I think the highlights for me was definitely being able to um, play abroad, we were invited to play at um, the Popcorn Music Fair in Berlin. And we also were very, very lucky to open for a, a few distinguished bands such as uh, Ministry, um, Zig Zig Sputnik, Sheep on Drugs, uh, VNV Nation. And our very, very first live shows were opening for Dire of Dreams from Germany. Yes. It was quite a, a daunting thing in 2003, just a, less than a year after we started, to have our very first shows be for an established band from Germany. Yes, and it was also a band that I was uh, quite a big fan of, so it was, for me, it was it certainly it was very daunting. Uh, I would, however, want to um, to say that Ministry was, uh, when they played in South Africa, and we were fortunate enough to open for them was an incredible experience. I think for me definitely a highlight. But then there's other stuff as well. We, um, we've we made very nice music videos. We've collaborated with friends. Um, some of our, um, one of our music videos uh, won an award. Um, we've been nominated for awards for our work. So those were definitely, definitely highlights. And our remix albums as well. Yeah, every time we, we do an album, we do a remix version of it as well. Um, so that's always fun to, you know, just to uh, expand what you're doing. Yes. And we've got to meet people that we that we just never knew, never thought we'd get to encounter, and they did remixes of our songs, and yeah, lots of them came back to do some more. We love your cover of the song Obsession. Is it true that a member of Animotion actually contacted you to give you praise about your cover? That praise must feel really great. The song Obsession, yes, we uh, we really love that song and it is true that um, one of the members uh, came back to us. Yeah, uh, Paul Antonelli contacted us um, shortly after we, we made the music video. We also, uh, what I wanted to mention is we always, always try to make our own music videos because we want to make movies, so we end up using that opportunity to make and shoot and direct our own music videos and pull our friends in to try and make it as cool as possible. So it doesn't look like just your average South African music video because if you see that you'll yeah you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, Paul Antonelli is the he was a keyboardist for, for Animotion. Yes. And so he actually took the trouble to uh, get our email, email us, tell us he loved the video. Um, he gave it to the rest of the band members and they all said it was great, which is 
a fantastic huge compliment. compliment and and also maybe one of the highlights uh, <laughs> and then also the song um uh, obsession we we are children of the 70s with gen x's so it's obvious that we are huge 80s fans so you grew up in the 80s that's what you heard and remember we, yes we needed a, we wanted to do a cover for uh to put another track on on our album at the, the time first, the first remix album we yes. wanted to add some bonus tracks so we thought let's do a cover and, and which cover yeah to do. that song had such a cool um synth line that we um it was very catchy and i mean it was a it was a favorite of mine and definitely a favorite of yours as well yeah, kind of. Yeah. I listen to the heavy, heavier <laughs> stuff in the 80s, but the pop music on the radio, you just couldn't escape it. So it was sort of fused into your brain, that tune. And it's a cool song, regardless. And so, you know, just for also for the guys to come back, uh, if you turn this song into something a bit more rough than it was, it's a bit heavier, um, you know, for them to come back and still see that you uh, honored their song. So, what does the future behold for Terminatrix? Well, for the future, um, hopefully there's another 18 years for us to, to play around with what we do because we just do it the way it comes out. We don't have any concrete plans on exactly how to do it. But, yes, um, I, th I do think that the, the whole COVID-19 has put, I think for all musicians, has put sort of a damper, well not a damper, but definitely a sort changed of... Changed the landscape. We went into sort of a holding pattern. We are working on on new songs, and we we have been working on new songs through the through the lockdown period, especially in South Africa. The lockdown was was quite harsh, but we we even started a cover project yes. called a positive <laughs> just to keep ourselves busy. But we've been busy, and we are also um, breaking in a new bassist. Um, our, our other uh, member left us um, after ten years, and. Um, for very, uh, we, it was completely um, under wonderful terms, but so we are breaking in a new person and I think that we have, we've realized that it's good to maybe not come out with an entire album in one go, but to do release track by track, which is what we've been doing and um, yeah, first, enjoying that. Just doing a couple of singles, we did a song called Destroy, then after that we did one called Blame, we actually did a a little lockdown video of that with with our new bassist well it's actually an old new bassist yes. he was in the band in 2003 and he's popped back like many yes. years later so he was a member we did a little lockdown yes. video with all the members in their separate spots um and then we did a song called uh, saker which is sugar in afrikaans an afrikaans song yes and that's actually with um uh, uh, Paul Rickert who is from a band in South Africa, quite a well-known industrial band called uh, Batterie Nyeche, which translates into Battery 9. He also did a few remixes of yes. our songs before. And we um, are also planning on doing um, quite a nice music video for Soker, so we are looking forward to that. That's definitely um, on the on books to happen. And um, in the past, just because venues are limited in South Africa, and um, and the audience for our music is also limited in South Africa. So to get a venue and a place where you can uh, pull a good crowd is not always that easy. So for quite a few years, we've been contemplating doing a nice big um, extreme live stream show. Um, but then when the whole pandemic thing happened, it's now just commonplace. It's, yes. We wanted to do something really cool, interesting that no one's done, but now everyone does it but we'll still we hope to try and do that before the year is out thank you so much to terminatrix for being with us on static realms music hour and now their cover of the song obsession
Remember Liquid Television on MTV with AM Flux always dying and other kinds of cartoons where if your family walked in, it was all just kind of awkward? Well, we've got something in store for you. Here's Creature and his video for Pluto. So these walls, the music video came about. Um, I was working with Michael Oakley. Um, he was mixing a couple of my songs and one of those songs was these walls. And uh, when we were talking one day, he said, hey, are you gonna make a music video for this song? And I said, I definitely want to. And he recommended Brad A. Canan and Dynamic Creative. And uh, I was super excited to find out that, you know, this was the same guy and team that worked on Running in the Night by FM84. And uh, so I immediately contacted Brad and we hit it off right away and he had all these, ama these amazing ideas. And uh, I think he had the treatment done within the first day. You know, he was talking about all these locations. Um, the video starts out with me trapped inside this clear cube. And uh, that was actually shot at one of the dynamic creative team members, uh, Adam Bustles apartment and Victor Lord I think at the time and uh, such an awesome place because it was like this really huge greenhouse uh, casing and uh, so I'm in this case and I'm trying to break out just like life you know you usually tend to freak out and usually the answer or solution is right under your nose uh, but you'll see through the video I'm trying to break free and I'm beating the glass and uh, looking up above at the ceiling to see if there's a way out uh, and the whole time there was a door to the right of me usually when you're in fear you usually tend to think like oh that door is going to be locked so I didn't even try that to open that and uh, so it also has uh, some really cool VR stuff in there where I find these VR goggles I put them on and uh, I'm up on this rooftop where you can see this city it's really cool and I'm up there searching for a way out and through VR I, I was able to, to find my way out and I end up in this very uh, unique place so Brad found this location in Long Beach it was so gorgeous but at the same time it's kind of dystopian because it has like uh, on one hand it has like palm trees this cliff this out you know outlooking the ocean and uh, then you have all these concrete slabs with graffiti and really, it was really beautiful, this kind of dichotomy between dystopian and utopian. And it was perfect for the video. So 
Brad just blew me away with, uh, you know, all the cool locations and stuff like that. And you'll see in the video, I'm standing on the, on the edge of the cliff looking out the ocean. And uh, trust me when I say I was really scared, uh, but it was worth it, you know? It was worth it to get that really cool scene. Um, you know, it just kind of ties in that kind of fearless uh, idea of, of, you know, taking chances and risks in life uh, to break down those walls. It was such a fun video to make, working with Brad Kanan and uh, the Dynamic Creative team. Uh, I think we filmed it over the course of two days, 16 hours. Uh, but it went by really quickly because uh, we had a lot of fun. Uh, it wasn't like I hired people to work with. It was like I was hanging out with friends and then we eventually became really good friends. And so um, it was really cool. But yeah, uh, check out these walls. I hope you enjoy it. and. Uh, support Static Realms because they're so awesome. I'd like to thank them for inviting me on. You know, take care. See you soon.
Rotating Angels is built on somber piano and slow, spartan, Japan-inflected beats. Now let's watch the brooding and anthemic Rotating Angels visual video by Stephen Jones and Logan Skye. And now I'm here with James Bowen, also known as Droid Bishop. Hey James, thanks for being on the show. How are you? I am good, thank you. Um, thanks for having me in your lovely world you've created here. So with the way this year has been, I have to say that your music is so refreshing to hear right now. It's uplifting and atmospheric, yet funky and danceable. So much fun. So I would love to know, what is your writing process like? Yeah, it has been a pretty crazy year, and um, 
I appreciate all those kind words and you know that's what music and movies and art is supposed to do um, you know there's lots of emotions around all that stuff but it's you know it should kind of help us through this crazy life but I don't really have a writing process per se other than you know maybe I'll start with the drums sometimes if it's, if it's going for a little more straight uh, danceable vibe or sometimes it's chords laying it down feeling the vibe whatever sticks whatever whatever hits here it's got to hit here first before it hits y'all and if it don't hit here it just gets in the trash can pretty fast um, but sometimes it can hit here all the way until the last minute and it just it's garbage and you gotta throw it in the trash can because you deserve better than that and that's all I gotta say about that process so your new album music is such a wonderful variety of sounds I call it symphonic synthwave Absolutely. so I was wondering have you ever considered composing any music for film and if so what kind of film would you see that being? Thank you for saying that. Um, yeah, I love symphonic and orchestral classical music and movie scores for sure. You know, grew up on a lot of John Williams stuff, Danny Elfman and, you know, Bernstein and just amazing stuff from the movies that really capture the mood and the feelings of things. And, and movies are only 50% picture um, and 50% music, I think, really bring the, really the, cool. the two um, halves together. Um, and I'd love to do something like that. So I've, I've done a few small scores here and there for little projects, but you know, a feature film would be an ultimate goal of mine. So just keep working at that angle and got a few things leading towards that. But yeah, thank you for saying that I could do that or should do that or might want to do that. I love your voice and how the vocal tracks mix harmoniously with the instrumental tracks on this album. So what inspired more vocal tracks on this particular album? Thank you for saying that. I'm glad that you like my voice. It might be an acquired taste, I don't know. Um, I definitely feel like I've improved over the years, kind of was pretty shit when I was in my teens and trying to be a, a rocker singing outside of my realm of capabilities but uh, you know we live and we learn and trying to find a little niche pocket where i sit and i feel like I'm, I'm doing that better now and i feel like a lot of people are kind of vibing with it some maybe not but that's fine that's why i like to do instrumental music too it's two things i like and i don't see myself doing one or the other 100 percent um but i guess i just wanted to do a little more vocals to express more things. I don't know, I'm an uh, artist, I'm a writer. I like songs with vocals and lyrics and I got thoughts to get out and not everything can be about spaceships and stargazing. So you just you dig deep and you reach and you see what comes out and here we are. So James, what can we expect to see and hear next for Droid Bishop? I've got a bunch of remixes coming out and working on more constantly, um, which I enjoy doing remixing. You know, you get a hopefully a solid song to begin with and there's a solid tight vocal production on there to work with and I like to lay down the chords and bust it up and change it up and it's fun. So I really like doing that. So if anyone wants remixes yeah but um yeah working on new tunes as well already kind of just keep this this plane flying and, and uh you know talked about the scoring thing moving towards that somehow and just learning growing progressing getting better never living in the shadows of the past but uh, looking to the light of tomorrow Thank you so much to Droid Bishop for being with us on Static Realms Music Hour. Here's more about his new album, Music. Thanks for having me on S -S Static Realms. I am Droid Bishop and my new album, Music, is out now on all streaming platforms. I've got vinyl available too. Um, all this stuff is going to be available 
Uh, if you follow me at Droid Bishop on Instagram, there's a link in my bio with streaming, merch, vinyl, all the stuff you need to know. So come with me. Music out now. Ciao, I'm Verona. Be sure to check out Glitter Wolf from Retro Synth Records. I gathered you here. I want you. This next band contains members who went on to do very impressive things in the synthwave community on their own. The band is Dead Astronauts. Dead Astronauts were formed in late 2011 by Jared Kyle. Haley Stewart joined in 2012 as a vocalist and shortly after took over production. Haley left shortly before the release of their second album, Arms of Night, to pursue her own project, Mecha Maiko. Jared and Haley still talk and collaborate to this day. Slade Templeton from Crying Vessel actually mastered and played guitar on the same album, Arms of Night. Shortly after the album was released, he became an official part of the band. Then towards the end of 2018, Florence Bullock from Glipbiter also decided to join the band as a vocalist and writer. Dead Astronauts are currently working on their third studio album. Here's their video for the song, To Find Her. Yeah. 
Engage. Hey everyone, Scott McClure here of Elevate the Sky for Static Realms. Here to talk to you about my upcoming album, Ascend. Ascend is a 12 track album that's loosely based on a concept, sort of an autobiography. And uh, at the same time, I wanted it to be colorful, so I kind of used like a fantasy element. Uh, comes with a comic book, a mini PDF comic book. And you'll see in there that it's basically the good versus evil story uh, about life's temptations, um, anger, things like that. Uh, you know, just taking influence from stuff that I grew up on like Star Wars, Blade Runner, The Wizard of Oz, those types of movies where you kind of go through this journey and end up um, to your main goal, finding who you are, you know, finding yourself. You know, and that, that I think that's one of the coolest things about music is being able to express that in so many different ways, uh, not just lyrically, but musically and thematically. And yeah, that's Ascend, uh, 12 tracks, comes with a PDF comic book, um, which, you know, down the road, I'd love to continue these comic book series for each album that I release. Um, the album doesn't have a specific release date just yet, but uh, I'm looking to late November for a release. Uh, but yeah, just check out my Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, for the latest updates and uh, should be updating that info really, really soon. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned. This next band will remind you of all your favorite music from the 80s and really take you back. Coming to us from Mexico now is Dat CD Boys. Hi everyone, we are Dad City Boys. Boys. We are a synth pop 80s new wave plus punk band, and this is our studio. We are from Mexico City. We started this project playing covers of artists like Pecho Mo, Joy Division, New Order, The Cure, and other other. Today we are presenting to you our latest cover video that we made to celebrate the 40th anniversary of 17 seconds by The Cure. The video was recorded and produced by ourselves and the audio was also recorded, produced and edited by ourselves here in our studio. We're happy to announce that soon we will be releasing our first original EP. If you like this video, please follow us on social media, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube channel. We'd like to thank Static Realms for inviting us today and we hope to stay in touch with you and we'd like to be more videos to come. Thank you very much. We are that city voice.
look, it's in a book, reading rainbow. I can do anything. <laughs> Did you guys ever watch that? I love that show. This is my homage to Lever Burton. Love you, Lever. <laughs> What's up guys? I'm just chilling. Dimension Oceanside 85. And right now I am in a rainbow. Oh. <laughs> Who's that? Could be anybody. And I am here, uh, back on Static Realms. I am so stoked. Thank you so much, you guys, for hosting my new music video. It's called Children of the Rainbow. It features personality, one of my all-time favorite producers. Go check him out. This is a track dedicated to everybody. Dedicated to all people of all colors. And it's a track about love and coming together. Hope you enjoy. And remember, it's Spooktober. <laughs> so keep it creepy. I have something coming out soon, actually, for October 31st. That's actually my birthday. I am all jacked up on candy corn. <laughs> Thanks so much for checking out my video. And stay tuned for more. I'm going to be having a lot more music and a lot more videos to come. Mad shoutouts go to Static Realms. Thank you so much for always supporting me and hosting my video. Oh, I'm going to cry. I love you guys. And I am so excited to present to you Children of the Rainbow.
now it's time to dance the night away with our favorite synthwave artist from Russia, Daria Donatelli. Hello everyone, it's Daria Donatelli and you're watching Music Hour. I have to thank you, my friends from Static Realms, for having me tonight in their show. And we are with my musicians, we are very glad and proud to be included into the show. So we are to play our live gig uh, with some of my songs and be sure to check out my Bandcamp page or any other uh, digital platforms uh, where you can find my music and so we are to start I guess. So let's go!
to say a couple of words, of good words about the next song. Uh, it is called Constellation. It is not recorded yet, but it will be included into my next uh, LP album, which I'm planning to release uh, in the winter of 2021. And, uh, well, uh, it, it has a very interesting story. The song Constellation was uh, composed by me and my good friend uh, Leanne Muerte from, um, from the project Level Minus One. <laughs> they are my good friends and uh, it was in 2018 in Berlin. And this song is super important to me. I hope you will welcome this song uh, with the best feelings and 
just enjoy.
constellation. I know that the next song is loved in many corners of our planet. Um, it's it's Mother Alien, and I know that Static Realms um, love the song too. So especially for for the for all the viewers of our show, uh, I guess it you will like it. <laughs> child unborn Dear mother alien, no one ever seen me cry There is something certain burning me inside
I guess the next song is self-explaining and no words needed for introducing this song. Nobody knows his name, but his name is... Song of our gig, uh, well, unfortunately, the last um, 
one of my most favorite songs to sing and to play, to perform. It is called Dreamcatcher. It is also a very special song to me. And well, thank you for watching us. And thanks for watching Music Hour by Static Realms. It was Jared Anatelli and my musicians. And Dreamcatcher. Hailing from Phoenix, Arizona, we have an energetic band that will make you want to jump out of your seat and have a good time. This is Paper Foxes.
Paper Foxes. You might recognize this next one. It is called Pop Confessions off our debut album. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, this next one is brand new. It's gonna make you dance a little bit. It's called My Head and My Heart. sure you are all signed up to vote that's very important make sure you go to servicearizona.com before October 6th and then you can actually turn in your ballot from October 7th to November 3rd in person at a polling location so we can uh, change this world we live in this next one's called tell me you love me Last 
control It's all in my head It's all in my head this man sweating awkwardly in front of a group of people yeah. what's up it sound like more fun than it is though yeah that's true My guitar, I knew it. 
There we go. That one's new. It's fun. We actually just did that one in, on the recording artist last week. That was. Fun. This next song is called Dance of the Dead or Baila del Muerte. Oh, Please make sure you go to saveourstages.org and fill out the info. We're trying to save all the small venues across America, like this one, that are making local music and live music happen. Sad times, people. Hard times. Damn virus. This next one's called Strawberry. <laughs> yeah, we got it. We got it. Thank you. 
So you broke your string right on time. Perfect. Good job, Oliver. Break the strings. Next song, break the keyboard song. There you go. Hard strings. Thank you so much for having us. Shout out to Bren and the Rebel Lounge for being beautiful people. Shout out to Antibacteria Cafeteria for having us. Thank you. Right? Good names and stuff. Yeah. 